Well, from the photo, you can see we were very fortunate to meet up with this missionary photo of a self-illuminating creature. And he then put us in the right direction to start our quest. The photograph of what appeared to be an African ghost. The crew determined that this could be the legendary glowing bird and had to find out for sure. But we had a tough road ahead. I would suggest next time you make a Land Rover going to somewhere where you don't know where it's going, you okay. check the land first. Okay. You know, we, we haven't seen anything in days. we just been traveling everywhere, not sleeping properly. It's all very exhausting. I just hope we hope the weather clears up, that we, we see something soon, you know? Otherwise, I don't know. We've been here almost two weeks now and the weather's changing. I hope we see something soon. There's something there. What is it? After finding the owl with the glowing eyes, we were able to talk to the tribesmen, though with much difficulty. The tribe is known as the Smamot, composed of very few tribesmen. Very little is known about them. How was the owl giving out that light? And how long has the owl been a part of the tribe? The director and the cameraman were the only two granted permission to join the tribe's day. The Smamot is a nomadic tribe. They hunt by night and leave no traces of their activities. Until today, they have lived in obscurity, like ghosts. The owl is like a part of the tribe. They treat it with respect, and the owl continues to be with the tribe. The light from the owl seemed to communicate with the tribe. As the sun rises, the owl's light seems to respond accordingly, at times glowing stronger or weaker. The owl of the Smamot tribe appears to possess the ability to control the intensity of the light. Before sunset, the men of the Smamot tribe prepare to hunt. They cleanse their spirits with the blood of the hunt and spread earth over their body. It is a sacred ritual where they seek God's permission to hunt. The owl lights the way for the hunters. After scanning the area, if the owl can't find a suitable hunt for the tribe, it returns to the tribesmen and moves with them again. The owl has spotted something. The hunt officially begins now. 
The owl's light shines on a deer. Deer is extremely sensitive to everything, especially light. But what's astounding is that the deer doesn't respond to the owl's light. It is hard to believe, even with our own eyes. The light from the owl was surprising enough, but what's more amazing is how the prey doesn't respond to it. Could it be true what the tribe told us, that the light can paralyze animals? As night turns to day, the Smamout men clean up and prepare to move on again. But this time, they stopped us from following them further. Hi, take a seat. Thanks so much. I'll have to be there to get a more precise measurement. But from what I can see here, the intensity of light is nearly 200 lux stronger during the day than during the night. It's amazing how it has the ability to control the brightness. Now, the reason why other animals don't respond to the light may be because of a control, a smart control mechanism that the owl has. They hold the brightness gradually. We all know about owls' incredible eyesight, but the ability to project light, I'm not so sure. This would be a brand new species, something very rare indeed. From the material I was shown, it seems that the tribesmen try and protect the owl's cornea during the daylight by putting a hat on it. This would suggest that the owls are even able to project their light during the day. If we could extensively study this mystical owl, we might be able to uncover the secret behind its light. But in the process, we may disrupt the tribe's way of life. Knowing that, we pray that this encounter may be their last.